think of World War I, and specifically when you think of pilots in general. He's had books, films and TV shows dedicated to him and his success during the war. Manfred Albrecht Freiherr von Richthofen, his real name, was a German fighter pilot with the German Air Service and was officially credited with over 80 air combat victories during the First World War but is thought to have had many more that were not credited. Richthofen was shot down and killed on 21st of April 1918, but not before he became perhaps the most widely known fighter pilot of all time, regarded as a national hero in Germany and respected, feared and admired by his enemies. At the time of his death he was chasing a British Sopwith camel over the river Somme near Amiens in France, only 400 feet from the ground. As the planes got closer to Allied lines he was fired upon by a second plane as well as anti-air fire from the ground causing his plane to crash and as such he was found dead with bullet wounds to his chest. Now the Red Baron is most widely known for flying the Fokker DR1 which he painted red, an act thought to strike fear into his enemies knowing that he was coming. Despite this the Fokker DR1 is not the plane he got the majority of kills with during the war, nor was it the first plane that he painted red. He started the war as an observer on recon missions over the Eastern Front. He was believed to have shot down a French aircraft with his observer's machine gun but he was not awarded with that kill because it couldn't be verified due to the fallen aircraft crashing behind enemy lines. It was only after a meeting with the German ace fighter pilot Oswald Bolk that he entered training as a pilot himself in October 1915. In the following March he joined the number 2 bomber squadron flying a two seater albatross and as the name would suggest this was a bomber plane. And in fact he was actually believed to be a below average pilot at first because he wasn't only just struggling to control the aircraft but he crashed during his first flight. Despite this he would eventually become an accomplished pilot. And he met once more with Oswald Bolk, the ace pilot that inspired him to become a fighter pilot himself. Bolk selected the Baron to join one of the first fighter squadrons, Jagstaffel, and it was with this squadron that the Baron would win his first aerial combat over Cambrai in September 1916, or at least his first confirmed one. Bolk however was killed just over a month later in a mid-air collision with a friendly aircraft which the Baron himself witnessed. Now after his first victory, the Baron started a practice that he would continue after each victory. He would order a silver cup and have it engraved with the date and type of enemy aircraft that he defeated. He carried this on until he held 60 cups, but the dwindling supply of silver in Germany meant that cups like that could no longer be provided and as such he stopped the practice completely rather than having a substitute cup made of base metals. Only silver was good enough it seems for the Baron. And Manfred was not the flashiest of pilots either, he wasn't spectacular or an amazing aerobatic pilot but instead he was a supreme tactician and more importantly a fine marksman. He would often dive in from above his opponents taking the advantage of being behind with the rest of his squadron covering his flanks. In November 1916 Richthofen defeated his most famous opponent, the British ace Major Lano Hawker. Richthofen himself described Hawker as the British Bulk, Bulk of course being the German ace pilot that we mentioned previously in the video. At the time Richthofen was flying the Albatross D2 and Hawker was flying an older Airco DH2. Hawker was attempting to escape back to his own lines after a lengthy dogfight but whilst retreating was shot in the back of the head. After this battle Richthofen believed he needed an aircraft with more agility and he moved to the Albatross D3. And what's interesting is, and this is something that we touched on before, despite him being known for flying the Fokker DR1, only 19 of his 80 credited kills were made with this aircraft and it was also his Albatross D3 that was first painted bright red in January 1917 when he joined the Flying Circus, a German fighter unit. That same month he became squadron commander of Jasta 11 which had some of Germany's elite pilots, many of whom he trained himself. It was at this point that he painted his plane bright red and many of his squadron also painted parts of their aircraft red as well. This is how he and his squadron earned their names and reputations. When he joined the Flying Circus in January 1917 he only had 16 credited kills and by the end of the war he would have 80. 
In April 1917 alone, he would down 22 British aircraft, including four, in a single day. His reputation was well earned. However, on the 6th of July 1917, Richthofen sustained a serious head wound, causing him instant disorientation and temporary partial blindness. He actually regained consciousness in time to bring the aircraft out of a spin and managed to force a landing in friendly controlled territory. The injury though meant that he needed multiple operations to remove bone fragments from the impact area and the victory was credited to Captain Donald Cunnell who himself was shot down and killed a few days later. On July 25th, and against doctor's orders, the Red Baron returned to active service. From late July, following his discharge from hospital, he flew the impressive Fokker DRV-1 triplane, the distinctive three-winged aircraft for which he's most commonly associated with. He didn't use it exclusively though until it was given strengthened wings in November of the same year. Richthofen was championing the development of the Fokker DV-2 and provided many suggestions to improve the craft to try and improve on the deficiencies of current German fighters but he never had the opportunity to fly the plane as he was killed just before it entered service. Ace pilots also ran in the family as well because the Baron's younger brother Lothar was also involved in the First World War and he himself was credited with 40 victories. Impressive stuff indeed. During the Great War, it's no doubt that the Red Baron was a force to be reckoned with in the seat of a fighter plane. Loved by his fellow countrymen and feared by his enemies. Will we see him pop up in Battlefield 1? Maybe, if the trailer is anything to go by, we will. It'll be very interesting to see what happens there. As always, thank you for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down and I'll see you in the next one.